Hi, what am I doing down here, you might ask? You don't usually see me on the floor. Well, I want to share with you some variations of Bhujangasana or Cobra. And the most traditional place it is practiced is on the floor. So I thought I would start there, but then show you how you can practice Cobra with other variations without having to get down on the floor if that doesn't work great for your body. I'm Janice Ware, Your Yoga with Janice, and I'm here to share some variations with you today. Cobra, Bhujangasana. So when you're on the floor, you want to have your elbows lined up underneath your shoulders, okay. just like this. And then you can keep the elbows on the ground right here, or you could gently press up, lifting the heart. You do not have to go very far. This is a back bend, but it can be a very gentle back bend. We're not looking to turn ourselves into wheels or anything like that. And then lower back down. So rising. And then lowering. So that's Cobra on the mat. So let's see what it looks like using the wall. So to use the wall as support when you're practicing Cobra, you just stand a little bit out away from the wall. Have your hands pressed on the wall. Okay. And then you just simply sort of keep your elbows in and you lean in as you lift your heart. And you only come in as far as feels good in your body. So you can come in farther or just a little bit. You want to explore to see how it feels best to you. Being mindful of the neck, but yet feeling a bit of a bend in that upper um, part of your spine. Another option is to simply do it standing. So sometimes I like to go ahead and just place my hands right back here in the sacrum and find my mountain and then lift my heart. And you know what? I can do this anywhere, and it feels really, really good. Being mindful that I'm not throwing my neck back, I'm just focusing on lifting my heart. So that's the floor, using the wall and standing. Let's see what it looks like in a chair. So when you're sitting away from the back of the chair, just sitting in a nice, beautiful, seated mountain or Tadasana pose, you can take your hands and press them into the seat of the chair as you lift your heart. So I'm pressing, lifting my heart. That gives me some support and it gives me some feel for how far I want to lift my heart. We want it to feel good in the body, but never painful. Another option is to hold on to the sides of the chair and to, and to lift the heart from there. So that's Cobra. It's a really nice one to mix in with little Tadasana, moving into Cobra for seated or standing practices. Um, and it's just, it's one that you can practice throughout your day, especially if you sit at a desk a lot during the day, this is a nice one to just kind of practice once an hour even. It'll really feel better in your back and your shoulders. So thanks for being here today.